Shit's massive, isn't it? Motherfucker, I've been mortified, fortified, feeling like a Mordecai. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of them die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them niggas fly. Homicide, genocide, genocide. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, my killer. Alright, this little boy have gone on an airplane again for like 35 hours again All the way over to New Zealand It's like the 7th or 8th time I'm here So it's quite cool to be back Rotorua is a sick place every year to go to And I'm super, super stoked to tell you guys that they have built They, they, <laughs> they have built a brand new slope style course here at Crankworks This is the season finale for us And yeah, we're gonna end up the season with a brand new slope style course now i'm gonna talk you guys through the whole course and show you guys perspectives all the new stuff and what we're gonna ride for the rest of the week hopefully my bike shows up hopefully they can get here soon so i can get on course tomorrow is the first day of practice and i have no bikes so they still kept the old step down where we started in the previous years where we hit the, one of the biggest step downs we've ever ridden in a slope style course but they also added this you can't hit it straight though if you hit it straight you're you're done you're finito you can't go straight you have to hip it into a landing but we're gonna go get there now they built a brand new deck here going out not the biggest flat drop of all time but it's still big don't get me wrong and uh, so yeah this is the first flat drop super 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 snipey and cool first flat drop is it's, as I said it's not the biggest one it's not the smallest one it's a good size it's a good size for trick Quite a snipey landing, not the longest one either, so you'll have to land good to carry speed for the next hip after that. It's still quite a big structure. If I fall down there, that's literally the last thing you'll see of me. So I'm not gonna do that. You get it? Quite a lot of info for one flat drop, isn't it? You just ride off it and land. Hopefully yeah. good. I don't really know, like, the landing ends here and the kicker starts. Here, so we got like one bike length of uh, flat bottom there. I think this is gonna feel unreal to ride to be honest. I think it's gonna be so smooth if you land good here and then just head into this. Look how massive that dirt lift is. Like usually dirt lifts aren't that big, but this is that big and we're gonna ride it. Quite excited about that. But also very, very afraid, but that's just how it should be. That's what the, the beauty of hips is. You can either ride it like a little boy and land in the middle there and it's not the biggest gap of all time but then you can also land all the way out here if you put your big boy pants on holy shit it's so big from here i don't think you can even get the speed to land over here to be honest i think most of us tricking that doing that we're gonna have to land here on the tiny boy pants line but it should be sick like just look how beautiful that berm is leading into the jump off the dash this this is the thing when tom hay builds everything just lines up beautifully like flow you know like that's what i'm trying to imitate with mm. the sound effects you know yeah, yeah super clear yeah the length is unreal the amount of dirt that went into just building one berm is unreal it's not even like a key feature but it's probably one of the better looking ones but it looks like it's going to be hard to get speed for the jump off there to be honest but i've been wrong so many times when i've done these course walks so uh epic berm not sure about the speed yet. It's very steep. It's like vertical. Not really sure why they put a, a whole beach in the berm. This is a fun fact. So this will be the first like legit trick jump. Uh, this is actually the kicker from the last jump in the bottom that they just moved up here and just re-angled it a little bit. It looks a bit steeper than it was in the previous years in the bottom because that was actually quite a mellow jump. But now it looks a lot more kicky and nice. Obviously big, I mean, if you stay there. Jesus. Yeah. I've just come to peace with the size of the things I'm riding. So I'm not even gonna question what I'm doing for a living anymore that I did in the previous walks this year. It's just what I do now. I'm fine. That's quite funny on the side there. They have all the meters up. So where the top one is, is 10 meters above ground where we're standing right now. And that's easily when we are upside down with our head. It's just hard for you guys behind the computer screen at home or on your little smartphone watching this. It's so hard to imagine all of this in real life, what it's actually about and how big it, big it is. Even Simon who has been around for a while. He just told me like, you're an idiot for riding this for fun and for a living. So. By the way, how many of those watching are not subscribed? Probably like 99%. One of the taller and longer landings all year on slopestyle courses 
It's a nice one though. All the features so far have been brand new. The only thing that have stuck since the previous years is that beautiful landing in the background there. But after we hit that one, we're moving into this wall ride. I think, yeah, it's a wall ride. Obviously it's a wall ride because it's a wall there and we're gonna jump up on it and ride it. Obviously like the first option would be to ride it as a wall ride, landing that landing over there. But I don't know, they put another landing over there. I don't, I'm not really, I'm not really sure how you're gonna get to that one because you can't hop off from here there I think it's impossible to jump over there so it should probably be from this one so you could do some sort of thing and jump over there I'm probably just gonna hit the wall ride and ride it as big as I can and do a cool trick hopefully up on it but definitely off off it cool with wall rides on contest courses again it's been a while this is sick just refreshing for slow style with some new stuff rather than just jump jump left jump right jump another jump you know like this is so sick to have like some different features that we normally don't ride we all have to adapt we just have to show up and be good at everything rather than just you know <laughs> this is the only feature that is the same as it's been before they only added a couple boards on it because it was a bit short in the past but now they made it a bit longer, so it's going to be right a little bit better and hopefully carry a bit more speed because it's been slow in the past. This one got the options as well. Last year, people cleared the whole thing, just gapped it. Uh, I don't know now when they extended it with six boards and moved the landing a little bit. I don't know if it's still possible, but, but you can do nolly tricks off. You can do fast, fast plant tricks off. You can do tricks up, tricks off. It's quite a fun one, a bit techy a lot of like energy consuming so like cardio again is gonna be a big big thing here it's not every day you can just do a bit of a hop and just see the platform you know so it's quite a small drop but after this we're moving into the most mind-bending one of the course i'd say that doesn't really say much does it they're gonna add that one on top of it in that direction so it's gonna be like one of them hitching posts you can either foot plant it up, up on a double deck it, gap it, bonk it, back wheel, front wheel, like you can do whatever you want on it really. So that's a bit of like a multi-option one as well. So I think that's cool, it's technical, it's uh, creative. So this whole section here in the, in the middle is gonna be very, very like unique. You have to ride it cool, you have to give a big impression there if you wanna stick out to the rest of the field. So I think it's sick. This is what we've been asking for in slope style, a bit different with the courses and stuff. Even like my friends at home that doesn't ride bike, they thought they thought the last few events like Whistler, District Ride and uh, Australia was really, really fun to watch compared to the previous years because the courses changed out a lot and they progressing the sport a little bit more in a different way, I'd say. So I've heard a lot of good things, but then there's also haters. Yo, it's always going to be haters. Moving in to, I think this is gonna be the sickest looking slopestyle feature we've ever had in the history of slopestyle riding. This is a massive, absolutely terrifying spine into a big step down, which is... Just look at it, it's just a wall. It's just a kicker into nothing. Steep, tall, wide, massive spine kicker. I think I've never ridden a spine like that before. And then it's a bit of a rounded, landing on it so we're not dying if we're casing so uh, we're gonna check that out as well it's just like with the speeds that we're gonna go it's just gonna be you're gonna have to land good because after you land the massive spine of death you're gonna have to carry a lot of speed to then hit a massive step down which is like actually quite long and big as well you're gonna have to land this good because look at this look over this edge it's actually so far out oh. it's so long it's so long and the snipey it's a short landing but long i think it's gonna ride so good if you land good here it's gonna be like ah. but if you don't land good though wow. then after that landing we're moving into quite possibly the biggest speed bump i've ever seen in my whole life this is a knuckle and a half it used to be a massive long and low jump here, but they took it away and made this landing into a big roller, into the massive jump in the end. Brand new kicker. They also lowered the ground quite a lot compared to the previous year, so it's a bit more of a step up vibe to it. A lot steeper, bigger lip. I think it's gonna run really, really good. Just steam it all the way in here. 
I mean, I hope these guys get paid enough to do this. Shit's massive, isn't it? Yeah. Steep as well. This one's gonna shoot us to the freaking sky. Quite cold. So yeah, that will be the last money boater. And then we're getting into the finish crawl, cheering on hopefully, because we're getting down and landing a sick run that we're happy with. So yeah, that is our Solpstall course. This is what we're gonna ride for the whole week. It's gonna be a sick freaking week. I just hope that my bike really shows up in time. Practice is tomorrow. And if I don't have my bike and missing a day, the weather for the weekend looks a bit shady. But yeah, I'm just gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna stay optimistic. And if I don't get my bike for the first day, I'm just gonna ride hard on the day after and just make the best of every situation. That's all we can do in life. <laughs> it arrived last second, like yesterday evening at what? 10 or 11 a.m. or p.m. Today is Wednesday, the first day of practice. We're gonna try out the course for the first time. It's been raining all day long though. So we'll see how good it works. But yeah, we should be able to ride a bit, have a good time. Ride a course with the boys. We got Tom here as well, sitting in the background of all my clips as per usual. <laughs> so uh, no, should be a good thing. Hopefully this bike is not too scratched up. Thanks a lot for everyone that did some comments and like, thought it was cool when I posted my last video. But anyways, we're gonna cut to the course. Let's see what's up. It looks intact still. You can cut. Mm. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, it kind of dried up a little bit. So uh, we were able to ride like the spine step down last jump. Still a bit muddy here and there. Feel sketchy, but Let's do a train. it's all right. Rides really well, rides easy. And uh, we're all sessioning, getting some tricks in, doing some spins and having a good time. You have the gas. How was the spin? Tranquilo. 360, no? Tranquilo. Who do you think you want to do? Muy tranquilo. Dude, I you suck at spines. I promise you. That's a lie. No, I, I think that that is a lie. <laughs> I'm, I'm not good at spinning spines, honestly. <laughs> Dude, I've never even ridden a spine, bro. You never ridden a spine? <laughs> it's just a 360, I'd say. You're so good at stuff. <laughs> <That stuff>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do one. You can, you can see. We got a couple runs in, managed to do a few tricks. Uh, nothing really crazy, but we got all the links, all the basics, and it feels really good. I'd say that this is one of the more fun parts in a contest course I've ridden this year, and in a few years, I'd say. Like, it really runs really, 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 really good, so uh, I'm stoked. Four runs. Full run. Full run. You can't even hear what you're saying, because you're British, you know? What the bird. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically it. Uh...